Hello, hello, hello! This is Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are back to work on the envelope and packaging journal. Or uh, maybe kind of like a junk mail journal. And so, um, let me show you what I did. Let's see. We have that side, and you've seen that. And then over here, I finished, well, I don't know if I finished. Let's take a peek. So I want to welcome new subscribers. Hi, all. I'm Angela. And introduce yourselves in the description box down, or not description, in the reply thing down there, the comments box. Um, and say hello to everybody. And hi, everybody that's been here with me. Thank you. So um, this is where I left off. I finished this with you guys. And then here, let me get some of those things pushed to the side a little bit. Right here, I put um, a tuck. And then of course, right here is another tuck. And you see, I have some little flowers in there. And then up here we have a large um, journaling card pocket. Here we have a pocket. And right here, let me see if I can find something. We have another little tuck spot. And then um, here we have a ni another nice big journaling card spot. Oh! <laughs> That's just sewing. I didn't get it all completely done. I need to put a thumb hole in this. Then we have another large journaling card spot here. Look how pretty that is in there. It's all the same paper. I just think it looks so nice. And um, I sewed all the way around this, around and around and around, and just sewed the paper together. So I guess it's called Franken paper when you do that. Here we have this with a um, open pocket so that if you have something large and tall, it will fit there. And it's also sewn, and I just put extra there. And then we have another journaling pocket up here for a skinny and long journaling, uh, journaling card. And then here we have another tuck spot, another, sorry, pocket. I used a lot of the frames from the 49 and Market to make the pockets. Here we have another pocket. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put the belly band on this one or not. And then, of course, in here we have our accordion pocket, which we can put a lot of things into. So there is that. So let's close up this one. It's working lots better now, now that it's been being used. And then of course we have our little rail here that we are, um, where we've made our scoring lines and this is going to be for some extra papers to put it to put in there if it's big enough and then we have another envelope section opposite of this one to go in here but we're going to add some things to it and so far this is what i've done on this side um, i actually did this with you guys earlier but I had some problems with that video, so um, I'm not going to edit it all up. Uh, I'm just going to let it go, and and we're going to start from here. I have some soda, some Coca-Cola Classic. Oh, and it is so good. So I have done this pocket out of... Uh, some of this card, I just measured in it and cut it to the depth I wanted. You can cut them any depth you want. 
this one just happens to be about three no oh, that's yeah that's inches it is about uh, three and three quarters of an inch almost and then of course it's as wide as my envelope just slightly shorter so that it matches up with this paper going around the edge and then I covered it I made a little um, snippet here and applied a little bulb pin so I can put a charm on there and of course it is like I said a pocket then on this side I just put on a pink page added some torn paper and this one is not completely decorated inside as you can see but it's a real pretty envelope so I think it's fine the way it is um, but that is for another large journaling card here and then of course I have the washi tape on here so that it has a better um, strength for this envelope and so that brings us to here this is a Tim Holtz packaging um, I've cut a couple inches off of it and we're going to make a fold out flippy thingy using these cards that eyelets came in and I have I have several of them I've picked out four but we might use five or six of them it just depends we'll see how it goes so I decided I'd better bring you along with me to figure this out um, because well you know it's a little bit complicated um, I didn't mean to make it that way but we got that way so this is the regular fold over on the package and I've covered up the um, packaging hanger here what hangs up in the store I've covered that up with washi tape and then I covered this whole inside piece with washi tape I did get it just a little bit off there so I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to trim that whole thing down if I did that then I really wouldn't have to worry about it and I have I have room so let's start right there and just cut that little piece off where I flubbed up every once in a while we get those mistakes I'm gonna set my timer for 45 minutes and it's already um, been what 10 minutes <laughs> I don't know I'm going to put it clear up on that edge and I want this should be even up here we hope there we go let's make sure our packaging fits yep it does okay some of my uh, stuff got a little wrinkle in it there but I guess it's okay why not why not she says why not okay so what we need to do now is cover this piece and then we'll cover uh, this little piece here too with something so let's start there um, what should we use that's a nice little envelope I keep trying to use it but I keep putting it away too so let's see what I have here I do have that and I do have that I haven't used that one yet I haven't decided if I want to use it on here we have that and that I just need to take a look at what I have Oh, look here. This is nice. And then we have some of this with writing on it. Um, we do have some of that. It's not my favorite. Oh, I still have some uh, paper that's sewn. Oh, goodness. What's over here? Let's see. I have quite a bit of that 
might be worth it to use it. We have some of that. Lots of little tiny pieces. We have some of that. We can always dig into the paper pack for some more. So, what to use, what to use. Now, we could use this. It's a little bit off, but you know, um, that's okay. We'll just put a little piece under it. How's that sound? So, I think probably we should use maybe, maybe the tearing ruler. So we need to go from there to there. Just like that. We'll ink it up after we put it on. So let's take this part right here like this. And then I think we'll take A little bit of this, and we will probably tear it right about there. Sorry if I got off camera. My goodness, Angela. Oops, don't tear upside down. You end up with a nice wrinkly paper. It is kind of cool though. This paper is just a little bit fragile. Let's see if I tore it too far. Ooh, maybe I'm not far enough. Maybe it's not wide enough. I guess it's okay. Okay, so it's too short down there, so let's do this. Oh, I keep tearing it. I keep tearing it wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I do, I do. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and put this on here like this. I um, kind of want it to line up over here. I'm going to take just a slight little piece off of it. Let's see if that was enough. Filling in those little holes I make. You know how I am. <laughs> Swear she does it on purpose, right? Um, I think that'll be okay. So what we'll do... So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here and glue this down to it. And if it doesn't even up, well, then it is what it is, right? Let's get a little ink on there. Need a little ink on my where I cracked it, the paper. Okay. So you can hear me okay, and I am recording, and you can see what I'm up to. These are all good signs. 
that I am plugging along here. Going around my little rip there, right here, so that it glues down properly. Okay, let's glue that right near the edge here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I need to repunch this hole. And I use the uh, 3 16 inch, which is the larger hole. So there's that. Now, let's see. Don't think that'll rip, but I am going to go ahead and put an eyelet in it and squish it together. You can see there that I, this nipple part that comes out here, the top of the uh, eyelet goes in onto that and then you squish it. And you usually get a pretty good, you get a good squish out of it. Now we don't have to cover that up if we don't want to, but sometimes I like to kind of cover them because they're kind of sharp. Mm, look at that. We might have to trim that off down there. Um, so I do sometimes um, cover those with a little something just to, to protect the page. So what could we cover it with? Um, we could just put a stripe E down there and cover it with that. Take the whitest part there. Um, no, don't like the stripe E idea. I like this idea. Um, trying to see where it actually needs to go to. We need to cut it off right there. And right down here. Okay, so from here to there. I need to put a, a pencil line on that little fold mark I put there. Oh, I can show my other light. Does that help? Help or hinder? Oh, come on. I was off a little bit, but I think that's okay. We're just going to put it on over here, and I like that. I think that'll be fine. It would be a nice little journaling spot. I need to get out my ink. Now this is an oxide ink. If you get it wet, it will run. The other inks will run too, unless they're like a stays on or um, something like that. So I don't recommend you take your journal to the bathtub. And if you cry while you're writing in your journal, the ink may run, but you know that can only add to your passion in your journal. So everything will be okay. So let's go ahead and put this piece down right there. Do 
just like this. And we're going to have to punch a hole through there again. All because I just felt like I needed to cover it up, right? So just carefully go around that, get it to stretch this paper around it, and then just poke a little hole through there. Oh my gosh, do you know what I just did? I covered it up that without putting this in first. Oh my gosh, Angela. I can't, I can't do my brads like that. I have to have a little bit of space in there for them. Okay, so there's the space I need. But now I really do need to cover that. So. Now I need to reinforce it with a little more paper. So maybe we'll just use that. Why not? Let me see if I like it. If I am going to be able to, to stand it. straight across from each other. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. But I do know that I need a little bit of score tape. And we're going to use a little bit of this heavy duty glue. some underneath the little wing thingies. And then across there, put the glue down on top, or the tape down on top of it. This is um, score tape. I like to just put that on there to kind of hold that brad in place. And, you know, I don't know why I haven't been careful, but look what we have. We have one of these we can put on there. Yep. Let's do that. We'll just put something on there, won't we? Super fine Castile darners. How about that? I'm going to use a uh, Fabri-Tac again. It's just a little stronger and around the, I think it's a little stronger. That's the feeling I get. Maybe just because it's a thicker glue. Maybe because it smells like acetone. I don't know. But it just seems like it's a little bit heavier duty. And I'll need my towel. Got to kind of push that paper in around that, the, the bread wings and that um, eyelet. And there we go. Okay, now we've got it. Okay, so now our 
um, bad wings or legs, whatever you want to call them, they're covered up. Let me put away the score tape. And let's see now. So, down here, we need to add some more paper. So, we can collage it or mirage it or whatever you want to do. Um, something like that. It's okay if this shows. So, let's ink some of this up. This is the regular vintage photo. I really just grab whatever ink is in my way. Um, I have to take all the colored inks off my desk, otherwise I'll use them. Because I just... It's just a feeling. <laughs> it's not a... Not a permanent sort of thing. So this one's going to go right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and what am I going to do? I haven't covered that outside yet. Okay, right, 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 right. So I am going to glue this down just along this edge to start with. I can get my glue to work. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and go out further, but I'll leave this open on the side here to put paper under it. Okay. Want to leave plenty of space there because this is going to get hooked into the envelope that is that it, we're going to hook it to. Okay, so under here we want to add this guy just like this. And we want to pull it over as far as we can. And that will work. And the lines will be going the wrong way on that one, won't they? I mean, if you wanted them to go the other way, we could. We could put it down here. I think we'll just go here. Where we know it's going to fit. So just like that. under here. Now we can go back to this. We're not gluing on the, the glossy stuff and right there, so we're gluing on to this paper. We're just <laughs> going to make it glossy with glue on the outside. Not intended. There we go. And I think maybe we'll use this piece down here. Whoops, I don't want to tear it that way. I'm going to tear just a little piece off this edge here. 
guys go over there. We don't need to be here. Just like that. And then we're going to go right over here. I'm going to just line this up along this line of the paper underneath it there. Just like that. So I'm leaving this lane on its side over there so it's easier to use this time. <laughs> you find all kinds of ways to make things work properly or to work quickly. I want to bring that right down along the edge so I don't have to clip it off anymore. And just go around it with um, the ink. Okay. Oh goodness, I have got to clean my desk up today. Now, what did an Angela do with those little cards? Put that up there. Bring that down there. Bone folder goes over there. Aha! Uh -huh. I covered it up with papers. Okay. Ah, there's some more. Okay. So we know our journaling cards are going to lay down in here like this. We are going to put a hinge on this one here on this side. Like this. So this is going to hook into the onto the page. Oh, you know what? I got it backwards. Yike! Let's see where we're going to put it then. Um, it could actually just adhere to this pocket if we want it to. Like this. Or it could go here. No, cannot go there. Hmm. Oh, well, it could go here because we've done nothing with this page yet. So it could actually hinge right there and be going the correct direction. I intended it for this envelope and I had intended to make it go this direction. But now it would be upside down because I put that paper on there. If I had put a neutral paper, we would have been okay. But this is going the right way. This one's going the wrong way. Hmm. So, we can put it inside here. It'll flip open. And then these things will all be able to fall out into an accordion of pages. What do you think? Right there? We could do that. That would work. That would put it right there. Right there. Right there. That will go inside the book. And then let's see outside. Yeah, that will have to work, or it could go right here. We could cover that window with it. If we put it here, then it would flip out this way 
and then the accordion pockets would fold out. Hmm. And then this would go over like that. Or it can go clear up here. So you can peek at this page if you want. Well, anyway, you see where my dilemma is a little bit. So, let's go back to this. I'm just going to stack some of them up here. Those are going to be right inside of there. So right about here, right across from this one, we need another hole. So probably right about there. Let me see, is that going to fit? Yes. But I think what we'll do is do a hole, a small one maybe. Do we want to put a little brad in it? I mean eyelet. Get my brads and eyelets confused sometimes. It's okay. That happens. I think we will. I think we're going to have to get our other one. Yep. Get the large one out. And we're going to punch a large hole. That is off. I don't like where I put that. I think I'll line it up here. And I can see that this comes down really right about here. Make sure it's fitting in there. Yeah, that leaves us room. Okay. Now we'll punch that hole. Okay. Let's drop our little brad in there. Our little eyelet. Run this all the way forward to show that you are going to use the setter. And you look at your directions to see what numbers you need it on. There we go. Perfect. Set that back up there. And let's see. So let's do this part next. We know these can't go. We don't want to bump them up against in there, but we can't go over this either. So we need to make some hinges. And I think we will make hinges out of some of this. Is this wide enough? Yep. And then we have to decide how many do we want? Well, we're going to get them right up to this fanciness. And we'll get how many out of them? Probably not very many. There's a half inch, so there is one hinge. One. And then this would be where we would cut it. And then one and a half, that's two, two hinges, and cut that one off. Cut a little shorty off there. Cut between these lines. 
It doesn't matter which way you fold it, whatever way you like. We'll have to cut some more here, but let's just start right here. So on our first one, it's going to go on a hinge on this side. Right? Yes. So let's create our hinge here. And I'm going to trim this just slightly like that. And slightly like that. Since this is a glossy packaging, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. I just like the way it holds on it, actually. I'm going to put my hinge underneath. It does slide around on this glossy surface. I probably should have just sanded it all down, but I didn't think of that till just now, so. There we go. Nice. Okay, if you still have some corners sticking out, it's because these little packages are, often have rounded corners, so we'll need to nip that off just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's our first hinge. Our next hinge is going to go on this side of both of these. Ah, you say, I get it. Yeah. Little nip there. Little nip there. And... Going to... Put this, yes, like that. And my towel, because I got too much glue. Okay, and then go ahead and nip those little corners before you glue it down to the next piece. And you'll notice them if you're doing this, that a little tiny pointy thing sticks out there. And you probably won't want that on there. So, and the reason I nip these, uh, cut the angle in them, is so when I put the paper on them, then the, this won't be showing along the edge. Carefully open that up and get the glue off the inside. Now 
There we go. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Okay, let's cut some more. We need some more. Let me look in this drawer and see if I can find us a piece of paper. Well, not those. Um, gotta find a thick piece. You know, I've been going through this drawer so much that I'm finally getting it whittled down to, um, you know, not, it's not nowhere whittled down. For, forgive me. <laughs> that is not really the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it is nowhere on a whittle, but it's um, getting a little easier to find some papers, but harder to find other papers that used to be in here. Does that make sense? That's a Christmas paper. That won't do. Oh, this would work. If it's big enough. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That'll be fine. What's this one? Oh, more packaging. Look at that. <laughs> I'll put it up there. Oh my goodness. Just what I need, more packaging. Okay. So this will work. And it will work this way too if you want to go a little smaller hinge. I tend to like mine to be side to side, so. Always grabbing out a new pencil. I probably have a dozen out here on the desk somewhere. Probably a dozen at a time. This one would work too. Um, that would be fine. Okay, let's cut this one end off first. Don't need that piece of paper. Save that one. Okay. And a half an inch. A one inch. One and a half. Two. Two and a half, three, three and a half, and four. Okay. So don't don't cut the first score line, that's your hinge. Cut the second one. I just put them on to give me a an idea of where where I need to cut it. So there's our second hinge. And we have a hinge right there. We have this extra piece right here. That might be able to be used. So I have one. Two, three, four. Let's put those on the inside. Okay, so we have one, two. Now our next one is going to go on the top on the right side and we are going to clip our little angles in there just like that put our glue on Right here. Uh, 
I quit using so much glue, I guess. I probably have always overused my glue, I'm sure. We used to have that paste glue. I know I've told you all this before. When I was in grade school. I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't like that stuff. It smelled great. There was a lot of kids that ate it. Because it smelled so good. But... It also, it also, to me, I didn't think that it stayed good. Sorry, Elmers, if that was you. I remember the paste bottle had an orange cap. Anyway, to me, it didn't seem like it stuck very well. So I would want to use more. Well, you don't want to waste your paste glue, you know, while you're at school. Good heavens, no. You might run out. <laughs> Just barely sticking out there. Okay, let's put on this one. It's going to go right here. How many are we going to put on? I don't know. How many do you want to put on? Ten? Did I hear 10? I don't know if I have 10, but that would make it too fat, I'm sure. But these will be nice, really nice little journaling cards, don't you think? So I am trying to keep these all kind of lined up. They do move around a little bit with the uh, uh, Fabri-Tac. Oh! Oh gosh, our time is up! Well, let me just apply this so you can see what I'm doing, and then I'll let you go. So we have one, two, three. Yeah. Let's go ahead and apply this where we want it. We're going to put it on this very back one. Um, I better use the fabric tag because this is a heavy piece with the packaging and the um, cardstock hinges and stuff. It makes it quite heavy. Okay. So the idea behind this is, is that this flap actually holds it in along with this tie we're going to put on it. So let me get something to tie that with. Now we've been using the twine, so I guess we should probably stick with that, huh? Oops, that's not it. Oh. Yep, here it is. Here's some twine here. I know I must have the one on my desk somewhere because I don't see it in the drawer. I'm going to get this glue out from the bottom because I don't really want to glue this page down after we hinged it and everything. We'd kind of like it to hinge, right? Okay, stay right there for a moment. going to leave that little piece of tape on there. It's going to just help us on the back. I got this in packaging. 
it's not packaging, but in a package that I sent for from somebody. Get back out the score tape. And what I like to do with these is, when I'm making one of these, is pull it down quite long. Really put your score tape down there. Just rub it in. You want to make sure that it's adhered to the this paper. Put this off to the side like that and put it on the score tape. Then I run another piece of score tape. it down firmly enough this will just kind of pop up on the corner just slightly and then once more and then I like to put some there and down here I know it's overkill right right but there'd be nothing worse than to get this somebody buy the journal and then have this all come out. I mean, that would be the pits. So I'm going to leave that part on there for right now. And then this would come up. And this will have to get worked a little bit. And we'll just tie around it a couple times. Doesn't need to tie very much. It just needs to be closure on there, see? Keeps it all in. And then when you want to journal in it, you just pop it open. And we will decorate these, or I will decorate them, before I come back to you. Or we'll decorate them together. Just depends on how I see it when I, when I get back in here. So I think I will add maybe two more onto it and we'll have a total of five journaling cards. I think that would make a super good journaling area. And I really like it. So what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Hi, honey. Okay. Don't stay. Okay. I'm almost done. So I'll go out and say hi to the dog. So, did we decide where we wanted to put that? You know, we could just put it here. I think it's, well, no, I don't think so. Because, well, it could go that way. You know, you still have to, no matter where it is, you're going to have to be careful about how you close up your journal. Oh, well, you'll put that page over it, won't you? Yeah. And this is all going to get connected into the book. So maybe we will put it there. Maybe that will be okay. That will give us a chance to kind of tape that down really well. And uh, glue it down really well. It's, it's a little bit heavy with the packaging. Of course, yeah, it opens that way. Undoes. And then you can journal here on your book. Or you can have it on the table and journal over this way. Okay. So, a packaging journal with the flap that holds it in. I haven't seen this one on the YouTube, but that doesn't mean it's not out there. So I cannot claim it as my own, but I'll sure share in the glory of how beautiful it looks because it's a nice little pocket um, journaling card spot. Not a pocket. Okay, thanks for joining me today, and I will see you all tomorrow. 
I hope you have a great day. Bye.